Hello and welcome to another Daddy James Films computer tutorial. <laughs> okay, uh, for those of you that have problems with Internet Explorer, I did a tutorial on this uh, a couple of times. Um, but uh, I'll show you a quick easy fix for people that have Windows, uh, Windows 7 or Windows Vista and that's using a program called FixWin. Now, for those of you that have Windows XP, I'm going to show you how to manually do it. And plus, you can also manually do it with Windows Vista and 7 as well. Now, you have to have Internet Explorer 7 or 8 to do this. Um, so, um, so make sure you have one of those. Any earlier versions, I'm not sure if that will work on them. Okay, uh, what you do first is when, you're, when you have Internet Explorer up, and if you can keep it up, <laughs> that you can go to Tools internet options okay uh, now <clears throat> if for some reason that the, um, the Internet Explorer won't come up at all what you would do is go to start and control panel of course I have Windows 7 but it's basically you do the same thing start control panel now I have a picture for uh, I have a picture for, Win uh, for Windows XP and I'll show you with the picture <clears throat> so basically this is what your control panel looks like in XP uh, if it looks like the category view, just come over here and switch to classic view. And uh, from there, you can go to internet options there. Okay, once you get internet options, it should look just like the, exactly like this. Um, now, from there, what you want to do, you want to go all the way over to advance. Okay, and from there, what you want to do is go down to right here where you see reset. Basically, what you're going to do here, you're going to reset Internet Explorer's settings back to the default uh, condition so this should fix your Internet Explorer problem so let's go ahead and try it out reset I'm gonna go ahead and delete personal settings and we're gonna go ahead and click on reset now it's resetting deleting personal settings and there you go and that should work let's close that out okay now it's gonna ask you to restart uh, in the Explorer so we'll go ahead and restart that we're going to open the Windows Explorer back up. And from there, as you can see, it reset all the way back to default. And now you should be getting the welcome Internet Explorer 8. Now, you should, like I said, if you have Windows XP, this is how you're, going to, uh, how you're going to fix Internet Explorer problems. Anyways, I hope this tutorial helped. Like I said, you can always go to Control Panel to uh, get to Internet Options if for some reason Internet Explorer doesn't come up. You can go to Control Panel. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.